Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermaltake Big Water 760i water cooling system. What's included with the Big Water 760i is a user's manual, a maintenance schedule booklet, a CPU water block, two quick connect couplings, PVC tube, coolant, fill bottle, and all the materials needed for installation. The Big Water 760i is designed to fit in a mid or full size tower case. It gets installed in two five and a quarter inch drive bays so it doesn't occupy any valuable space inside the case like most water cooling kits. This is possible because the fan, the radiator, pump and reservoir are connected together in one small unit. At the front are ventilation holes to allow the included blue LED 120mm fan to intake cool air. Below the fan is an aluminum radiator which has expanded outer fins and tube stock construction for maximum performance. The rad also has dimple tube technology which swirls the coolant within the radiator to increase thermal transfer. Now being so compact means that the airflow across the radiator isn't the best, but there is enough room for the 120 millimeter fan to adequately intake cool air from outside the case. At the back is the reservoir with a cap at the top for filling the system with coolant. Please note that this reservoir should be checked every other month to ensure there is enough coolant. If at or below the low mark, fill to the high mark to enable the kit to perform properly and offer the best cooling possible. Also at the back is the pump and connected to the pump are two rubber tubes which have quick connect couplings. These quick connect couplings enable easy connection and disconnection of tubes. This means that the water block can be installed or removed without having to drain and refill the reservoir. This is not only a big time saver but it's very convenient. They also include a rheostat, so the speed of the 120 millimeter fan can be adjusted. Here's the pump and fan power supply connection, as well as a fan speed lead which gets connected into the motherboard's fan header. Notice how all the cables are sleeved and neatly held together with cable ties. The CPU water block fits most current motherboards and includes all the hardware needed for installation. It has two fittings and a smooth copper base that will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. Traditional water blocks often are designed with a simple water channel and this is to decrease manufacturing cost. However, water within the liquid cooling system travels at a very high speed and does not have sufficient time to absorb heat from the heat source. To overcome this downside, Thermaltake developed this water block with redundant micro channel design to effectively divide water flow into micro channels, thus accelerating heat transfer from heat source to liquid material. In addition, micro channels are stacked on top of each other to fully utilize the available space within the water block and further increases heat transfer. There are also additional optional VGA water blocks that can be added. There there are four different VGA water blocks available which fit most current video cards. These VGA water blocks enable the Big Water 760i to cool either a single video card and the CPU or two video cards. Remember, while installation of this water cooling kit is extremely simple, please read the manual thoroughly, otherwise the system may not perform correctly. Finally, have a listen as I increase the 120 millimeter fan from the slowest to the fastest speed.
This water cooling system performs really well. It's super easy to install and compact. My only complaint with this water cooling system is the placement of the 120 millimeter fan on the rad. And of course, this is really limited to the size of the unit. They really did what they could in placing the fan on the radiator in this particular small compact unit. The other option would have been to occupy three five and a quarter inch drive bays and mount the rad and the fan vertically. And of course, that would have occupied three five and a quarter inch drive bays and possibly not fit in some mid-sized tower cases. So considering everything that this kit offers, it's certainly a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. A maintenance scheduled booklet, CPU water block, two couple couplings to what? Coolant within the radiator to increase thermal transfer. Transfer? Transfer! Yet to increase the thermal transfer. Exceptionally well. It's very, very easy to install and it works super well. Super well! Yeah really well it's easy to install and it's compact i truly really truly really truly really like it baby fantastic water cooling system one of the big things that i like about this is it is all it is it is it is it is